Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and in this video we will be talking about the comparison of a basicity and nucleophilicity of uh, hydrazine versus ammonia and hydrogen peroxide versus water or hydroperoxide versus hydroxide, right? But as you can see the title is nucleophilicity versus basicity because in order to compare between these two or these two that is their basicity and nucleophilicity we have to know about the uh, nucleophilicity and basicity in general that is we should have clear idea about the nucleophilicity and basicity what is called nucleophilicity and what is called basicity so the term basicity is familiar to all of you and it is a very basic uh, or very preliminary concept because uh, for, from your 8th standard uh, you may have heard about the term basicity but the term nucleophilicity this is a rather advanced topic and you may not come across uh, with this particular term before 12th level or BSc. So if I define basicity it is basically when something or some compound react with proton so this phenomenon is called basicity so the tendency of anything to react with proton is called basicity. Whereas uh, if your compound or your molecule react with other positive center except proton for example a carbocation a positive positive center uh, a, po a positively charged or it may not be positive but a heteroatom like phosphorus silicon like that so then it is called the nucleophilicity so the only difference between the co concept of basicity and nucleophilicity is the uh, species on which your substrate or your molecule or your compound is attacking that is in case of basicity it is proton in case of nucleophilicity it is anything other than proton now this is the difference or this is the de uh, de definition of the two so uh, but when we compare the basicity we compare it by looking at the pk value of its conjugate acid right so if uh, the pk value of a conjugate acid of some base so if, if you have a base b so let's say you have a base b and another base b dashed and you have to compare the basicity between these two so then you will look into this reaction that is bh plus and b dashed h plus so this reaction basically these two are reacting with h plus and from that from this reaction you will have a pk value of these two bh plus and b dash h plus so let's say it is pka uh, pka1 and it is pka2 now the lower pk means the acidity is more that is if pka1 let's say if pka1 is lower than pka2 that means this bh plus is more acidic and the equilibrium will shift it toward left hand side so if this condition is valid that is pka1 is less than pka2 that is uh, the this bh plus has lower pka than b dash h plus then this bh plus will be more acidic or in other words we can say this b will be less basic right so this is less basic okay so from the pk value of two compounds we can compare so the from the pk value of the conjugate acid of two different compounds we can compare their basicity and when we uh, talk about nucleophilicity we extrapolate this concept and we want to correlate the nucleophilicity with the concept of basicity that is uh, we say that if a compound is basic that means it is more nucleophilic so uh, this is how we correlate now this is shown by this particular example so let's say we have two species one is alkoxide ro minus and another one is for example acetate okay so ch3 co o minus okay so we have to compare the nucleophilicity between this two one is one is, one is alkoxide and another one is acetate now in case of acetate you know due to this resonance so due to this resonance this anion is very much stable 
this is a stable anion due to resonance and that's why its basicity will be less so if its basicity will be less that means this r c o h it will have lower pk than r o h so we conclude that if the conjugate acid has lower pk value that means it is less nucleophilic and if the conjugate has higher pk value it is more nucleophilic this is the generalization but there is a danger of this generalization and this generalization doesn't hold for every case and the most interesting example of this is this two right so the main point is although in most of the cases nucleophilicity and basicity uh, just run parallel that is if your substrate is more basic that means it is more nucleophilic but it is not the case always there are exception and uh, we will discuss about the exception in this video and that is the topic of this video so let us come to the main point that if you compare between hydrazine and ammonia and hydro hydrogen peroxide and water you will see that this hydrazine this is more nucleophilic but this is more basic right so it is more basic okay so we just say that if a molecule is more basic that means it should be more nucleophilic but here it is except, exception although hydrazine is more nucleophilic but it is less basic than ammonia right and same also here so if you take hydros, hydrogen peroxide or you can take uh, HO minus that is hydroperoxide and hydroxide so hydroxide is more basic but hydrogen peroxide anion hydroperoxide anion it is more nucleophilic now why is the difference so let us first see why hydroperoxide or uh, your hydrazine is more nucleophilic than this and this is very easy because in both case you can see due to the presence of these two lone pairs on adjacent atoms so if you just write hydrogen peroxide like this you can see these lone pairs are there and there will be repulsion between this lone pair we can visualize this in terms of molecular orbital picture so this is one field orbital and this is another field orbital so if they are isolated this would be the homo right this would be the homo but when they are very close they will interact and energy of one orbital will be lowered and other will be up or other will rise so now this is the new homo and it will have higher energy than any of these two so the rise of the homo means its reactivity increases and it becomes a beta nucleophile so the two reason one is uh, it's become more polarized more soft so that's why its nucleophilicity increases and at the same time its energy increases the energy of the homo increases that's why it becomes more nucleophilic so you understand why hydrogen peroxide or hydroperoxide anion or hydrazines are more nucleophilic and this is called alpha effect because it is due to the uh, lone pair on the alpha atom now why then why they are uh, less basic this is not clear right so to explain this we have to look at their uh, pk value or the stability of their conjugate acids right so let us take the case of uh, hydrazine and ammonia so this is your ammonia and it will take proton to form nh4 plus so this is the conjugate acid right and in case of a hydro uh, hydrazine it is nh2 nh3 plus and this is the conjugate acid ca dashed okay now we have to consider the stability between this and this so in case of nucleophilicity so this is another difference between uh, nucleophilicity and basicity is that in case of basicity you have to always look into the sta stability of the conjugate acid which is forming so so uh, to compare the pk value or basicity you always have to consider about the stability of these two conjugate bases but in case of nucleophilicity you don't have to bother about the product just you have to look into the 
feasibility of the overlap how good your nucleophile is uh, for overlap for example iodide is considered as a very good nucleophile but you also know that iodide is like uh, it, it is also used as nucleophilic catalyst for example when you do a reaction for example you have chloride here which is not a good uh, leaving group so if you want to react it with acetate for example you want to react it with acetate so acetate is a weak nucleophile so you if you direct uh, react acetate with this alkyl chloride so if you mix them the reaction will not occur because it has very low nucleophilicity but your iodide this is a very good nucleophile so it will attack here and you will get ri first now iodine is also a very good leaving group so then your acetate can kick off this iodide and you will finally get this okay so here you can see this means this ri is not very stable so after the attack uh, whether this is stable or not that doesn't decide the nucleophilicity of iodide so uh, nucleophilicity doesn't depend on the end product it only depends on how good your nucleophile uh, for the attack right but in case of basicity it is very important and that's why the difference is there so let us come back to our discussion so in this case it is ca dashed and now if you compare the stability between these two you can see here the positive charge is on the nitrogen atom and here also the positive charge is on the nitrogen atom so the atom is same but the difference is here this is nitrogen is a electronegative atom so it will have a minus i effect right so already your nitrogen poses a positive charge and then a electronegative atom is withdrawing electron from it but in this case you can see all are hydrogen so hydrogen is not like it is it doesn't push electron neither it take electron so there is neutral case but here due to the presence of this another nitrogen atom this positive charge would be destabilized same is the case when you have hydroperoxide so like if you have hydroperoxide here you can see and if it take proton so it will become OH OH2 so this positive charge is destabilized by the minus I effect of this another OH group whereas if you have water molecule there is no such effect so you can see H3O plus so H3O plus would be much more stable than this case and in this case NH4 plus will be much more stable than this case so this conjugate acid is more stable that means so it is more basic right so the conjugate acid is more stable means it is more basic okay and so this is in terms of stability now if we consider the ground state so if you consider the ground state you can see in the ground state also due to the minus i effect this lone pair although the alpha effect says that it is more polarized its energy is higher but at the same time the minus i effect is also there so when uh, question comes to react with a proton this inductive effect plays a very important role right so this inductive effect uh, stops it for, from reacting to a proton but when it is other electrophilic center for example carbon or phosphorus this alpha effect wins and they easily attack so this is why the difference is there and uh, that's also after this i think uh, it will be clear to you why hydro hydro uh, hydrazine is more nucleophilic than ammonia but it is less basic than ammonia and the same is true for hydrogen peroxide also so thank you for watching and if you are new in this channel then subscribe my channel best of luck